folks, welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, Elliot and I are getting into some spring muskrat trapping here. So we're gonna show you some quick and easy, real quick and dirty muskrat floats that we make uh, that hold two 110 conibears. bears. Uh, just real quick build. Now, I've got a video on the channel already about how to do like a four, uh, four way setup. And those are real great if you got all kinds of time in the world to build in the off season. But we're right in the middle of trapping season here and we wanna get more floats out in the water. So we're just gonna show you some real quick and easy builds that the two of us do. And uh, I'll show you just how quick and, and fun they are to, to make. Elliot, buddy, hey, let's go. Let's build a trap, come on. Okay. All right, guys, so I got Elliot here with me and uh, we've already built one of these. And then um, we're just gonna show you, we're gonna walk you through real quick uh, how to build these, like, like I say, cheap, easy, just stuff kicking around the house. So uh, easy to do. Okay, grab us, uh, grab us our piece of plywood. Uh, this one? Yep. Okay, so we start out with one of these, anything at all, uh, just uh, quarter inch, half inch, whatever you got kicking around. Don't use OSB, don't use particle board, it'll just soak up water. Uh, these are these are okay, these will last, you know, three or four years. It's just plywood. Uh, I cut these 13 inches wide, and I cut them 24 inches long. Okay, so two feet by 13 inches is what we start out with. Okay, set, grab our two or four. Okay, two two by fours, 24 inches long. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw those onto the edges of our plywood, just like that. Okay, so we're gonna do it from the bottom, put our screws up from the bottom. Yeah. Well, we're gonna put probably four or five on each side here because they're short. Go. Good. Two more. Beauty. Okay, flip it over. All right. So here's what we have. When you're done. Okay, so you basically got 13 inches wide and two feet long, and then our two two by fours gives us a six inch runway in the middle. Yeah. Okay. I think that's good. Now, next up, uh, these. So these are um, older style conibear holders that I bought ages ago. They're all rusted up. They were back in the back in the corner. Uh, not even sure why I bought them or what I had intended them for, but. Uh, I'm sure just like you, you've got a whole whack of stuff that you bought with great intentions of using and then there it sits. But anyway, so um, I typically would use the ones that I make of these. And if you haven't yet seen that video, it's on the channel. Uh, there's a really great video on how to make your own conveyor holders out of uh, OSB clips that you can buy just at Kent or Home Hardware or wherever. Uh, and I would typically use those on muskrat floats, but I had these kicking around. So I thought, well, I might as well use them up. So here's what we're gonna do. Put one on each side, then we're gonna come back. Just uh, in case you're following along, we're gonna come in from the edge about two and a half inches to the, to the, to the edge, okay? So you're gonna measure in from here. Let me show you. You're gonna measure in from here about two to two and a half inches to the edge of your plate. That's where you want your, because you want the muskrat to be pretty much up on here with his front feet and then climbing up on before, you get, before he gets caught. Okay, grab some of the shorter screws, bud. Sure. Uh, up, up here. Yeah. Uh, we need four all together. Okay, so all I do is just, um, or all we do, I guess, is we just pin these down. We don't use long screws, so they don't stick out the bottom. Ouch, too far, got it. Okay, and we try to keep these as straight as possible across those. Uh, the reason that we use some of the 2x4s on the side, I like to use 2x4 on the side and give it some type of lip, um, just because 
we were talking, Elliot and I were talking before about muskrats coming along the side of these and why they don't climb up over the side and why they stick to the end. So uh, the idea was, Elliot thought if we made the sides a little bit thicker, that it would stop them from kind of climbing up over the sides. Now, some yeah. of them will, I mean, it depends, yeah. but um, for the most part, by making, for the most part, by making the sides thicker than the ends, the muskrat will want to come up over the end, okay? Yeah. So what we'll do there, so all we did was attach those two, and that allows us to grab our 110. Oh, that's not a 110. So we'll grab a 110 out of the pail here, and when we put these in, if you've never seen one of these work before, they're pretty simple. Basically, when you go to set this, you just set it on both sides of that conveyor stabilizer and you pull it tight, and then it'll latch like that. Okay? And, good. and then you're good. And so that's that's solid. That's solid and it's there. It's not going anywhere. Okay, until it snaps. And then when it snaps, of course, it'll 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 come off. We do one of those on each side of the float. Okay. Next. Next, we're gonna drill a hole. Now, we the center of our float, and then when we put this out in the wood, or put this out in the water, we stick a pole down through the center of it. Got the drill? Yeah, got the drill. Awesome, okay. So we're gonna drill right in the center. Right in the center. Pretty close to the center as we can. Okay. Wanna go all the way through, right? All the way through, yep. Thing, but we're just gonna use a broom handle because that was the easiest thing that we could find. We've got a lot of, uh, somehow we ended up at an auction with a lot of these old, um, oh, they're, not, they're not old, actually they're brand new, but these are metal broom handles, just a little screw in type, just to type the screw into an old cheap broom. Uh, so we end up with a bunch of these. So this is what we're using. And what you just do, if you haven't seen these before, just drop this down through and drive it in the mud in the bottom of the water. And that'll allow you know, you get high water and low water, whatever. This will attract, this will allow your your float to come up and down, um, and then you're not kind of trapped into one height, and the, and the water rising and falling doesn't make any difference. Uh, like I said, you can use a stick, you can use a piece of pipe, you can use a piece of rebar, you can use whatever you want. We just happen to have a bunch of these, so this is what we're using for this season. Yeah. The only other thing that that we do besides this is uh, we do take a we do take a nail. Uh, we do take a fencing nail, a little, little U-shaped deal here, and we attach our conibear to the float. Okay, so we'll, we'll hammer this on here and nail it right onto the float. Yeah. There's the uh, axe, but right over here. I got it. Okay. Okay. That's it. So there it is. Quick and easy. Right, so you got these attached, they're not going anywhere. Muskrat gets caught, falls off. He's in the water. You got a pole, a hole for your pole that goes down through the middle. So what we'll do, once this is set and these are set, we'll take a little bit of that bait that I make. Uh, there's a couple of different baits that I use on the, on the channel and you can check those out too if you, if you scroll back through some videos. But the one that we really like to use in the spring, especially out on the water, is the one that I make with toothpaste and peppermint. So uh, it wasn't too long ago on the channel. I can put an iCard up here in the corner if you want to check out that video uh, about how to make your own muskrat bait. It works a little better than carrots and parsnips and stuff. You get a lot less birds uh, landing on your floats. I don't, I don't net over these or do anything. Like this is ready to go in the water uh, as far as we're concerned. So anyway, I uh, hope this helps you out. Something you can use on the channel uh, from Elliot and I. Until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.